<clears throat> oh yeah, we're back. Back and ready to do some Dutch oven cooking. Today on the menu we have some delicious beef stew. And right now I'm just trying to get the fire going. What we're going to do is we're going to cook outside. We've got a fire started over there in the chimney starter. And over here we're going to do our cooking. As you see we got the lodge 12 inch outdoor Dutch oven. And up here, got our table here. We got some ingredients, meat, potatoes, and uh, we're going to be set to go pretty soon. Right now, we're just getting the fire going in the chimney starter. And uh, if you've never used one of these, boy, I got to tell you, you got to spend the $12 or whatever to buy one of these. Forget about lighter fluid, forget about the old way of starting a fire. You got to use a chimney starter. Do is put papers on the bottom. I like to use some paraffin wax cubes. Take these, put them on the bottom, and fill that bad boy up with charcoal, light it, and in about 20 minutes we're ready. We've got a nice hot fire. We're going to put some coals on the bottom by the uh, Dutch oven. We're going to start browning our meat, and uh, that's what we're going to do. We're going to get ready to go in a few minutes here. It's going to get that fire going, so just be patient, and um, you know, we'll, we'll be moving in a few minutes. As I said, today we'll be doing a traditional, uh, I guess, German-style beef stew. And I have to say, I have to really give credit. I have a uh, friend that I work with, and it's his recipe. We're not, I'm just basically demonstrating how to do some Dutch oven cooking. Um, this, but this is his recipe, this beef stew. And uh, we'll be getting ready to do that in a few minutes. You know what? I just love this, fascinated by this cast iron, this Dutch oven cooking. And I, I don't want to bore you guys with this and just keep going on and on, but history behind this is just, I was doing some research and uh, it appears that Martha Washington left her cast iron cookware in her will. That's how important, I mean, back in the late 1700s, I mean, this stuff was, that's what they cooked with. She left it in her will. I don't know if it was to Georgie Boy, but, you know, might have been to one of her other sons or daughters, I really, but that's that's the history behind this is, is just incredible and I just... It's just, it's just intriguing. So, that's enough of the history of this. Let's, you probably want me to shut up so we can get cooking, all right? Okay, we got our coals good and hot, and the chimney starter. What we'll do is we'll spread out a layer right here, and you can cook on anything. You can, I mean, the real traditional way is actually dig a hole, bury the pot with hot coals, put a dirt on it, and you come back hours later. But what we'll do is, uh, you can do it right on the ground. We're going to do it on this uh, this stone here. Uh, we get a nice layer of coals. Save some coals too because you need coals for the top. It's key with Dutch oven cooking. You have to have that heat coming from the top. And I had also invest in a good set of tongs so you can move your coals around. You can also grab your kids with them. I'd prefer even a bigger set, 16 inch. Grab your kids with them. Pinch your significant other in the ass. Whatever you want to do, but. Grab a big set of tongs so you can move these coals around. All right, spread them out. Get a nice layer going. They're hot. Again, I can't stress that enough. It's with the Dutch oven cooking. It's that cast iron. It's just going to retain the heat. And that's why we got the outdoor one. As you see, you got the legs on it. Get those coals right under there. We're gonna brown our meat. Take a stick of butter. Put that right in the pot. And look at that, it's melting already. I'll tell you, this is a beautiful day for doing it. I actually wish it was a little cooler out. But uh, what a great day. Well, this thing's going up in flames. Put this back over here. Almost started a fire there. As you can see there. Look at that, that grass is burning there. Don't want to do that, don't want a catastrophe here. 
So. We're gonna brown our meat now. And let that butter set in there. And then uh, let that melt up and good in it. Just, I just have to show you this. Just how well this cooks. Look at that heat. Look at that butter. Look at that. It's already melting. For those, out of, out, for those of you out there that say, yeah, those coals, they really, you know, there's a few charcoal on the bottom, but that's not going to do anything. Well, let me tell you something. That's going to get hot. That's going to get hot. So, there's our assembly up here and our meat ready to go. Look at the chimney starter over here with some more coals in it. We're going to put those on top. Okay. Going, medium high heat, we're browning the meat, the onions, and this is just wonderful. The aroma of it, the smell, it's just great. We're outside. It's just this is lovely. What you can do with these Dutch ovens. You want to make sure you brown the meat on all the sides, then we'll be adding all the other ingredients. I got onions in there, garlic in there now. We're gonna add some potatoes, carrots. Again, I'm no great cook, and this isn't really supposed to be a cooking video. It's just a how-to cook, but, uh, you know, you can cook anything in here. Chili is what, you know, I figure next time maybe we'll do a dessert or something. But uh, it's more than just being out here, having fun, you know, grabbing a beer, enjoying this nice fall weather, and just, just having a good time with your Dutch oven. So let's let that brown, and then we'll add all the other ingredients, and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, we're ready now. The meat's brown. We're gonna add all our other ingredients. Got carrots, potatoes. Put that right in there. Got mushroom soup. Push it just out here. Stir that right in. Get all nice and good in there. We're gonna want to simmer this. We're gonna want to bring this to boil and then just simmer it. So. One thing you got to do with a Dutch oven is really, you got to get it, it takes some practice to get, remember, typically you want two-thirds the amount of coals on the top, actually, it's from the bottom, so you get that heat radiating down into the food. So, uh, I mean, typically, like, a th 350 degrees, maybe, a, uh, size, the 12-inch oven, you, you figure maybe you double it, so it's 24 coals, maybe 16 on top, 8 on the bottom, again, keeping that one-third, two-third. But, you know... It, it takes some time to really uh, see how much heat you get in there. We'll add that. We'll add our spice packet. And I love bay leaves. Put a couple of bay leaves right on top there. Stir that all together. We'll add some broth. Cover that right up. Yeah, just throw that broth right in there. Cover it all up. Beautiful. Look at that. That's something coming together, isn't it? Enough just to cover everything. Stir it all together. Stir it all together and then we'll uh, let it simmer. Okay, we're about an hour and a half or so into our cooking. And uh, as you can see, you got the coals on the top. One thing I didn't mention before, for uh, outdoor Dutch oven cooking, you're going to need a lid lifter right here. So you can lift the lid up, stir it, do whatever you have to do, add ingredients. And it just works like this. You hook it around the top, lift it up, and oh, look at that stew. Look at that. That's beautiful. Nice. It's got a nice simmer going. You know, let that go for a bit. Let that meat get nice and tender. Potatoes soften up. That's great. What we're really going to have to do is we're going to have to refresh these coals right here. So I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get another uh, load going in the chimney starter, and then we'll add some more coals. Okay, we're back. Still cooking the stew over here. And one thing is the uh, the coals are starting to die a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to refresh the coals. And uh, one thing you want to do is get this ash off the top because it can act as an insulator if you you know, even heating from going down into the pot. So what we'll do is we'll take a whisk broom, and I don't have a little small one, so we'll just use this bad boy and whisk the ashes right off of there. 
freshen it up again. Make sure you get that mull off. And you want to do this with the lid on, obviously, because if you take the lid off and you sweep the ashes, you can get some in the stew. And uh, although, you know, maybe that's good. Maybe it's got like a nice, it'll give it a nice earthy taste. But, uh, you know, let's just try to keep the ashes out for now. Take them off. Take this off the fire. And as you can see, our coals down here almost burned out. Freshen those up. Hey, come here. Get a nice piece of coals over here. Nice red hot coals. Ready to cook on again. Oh, that's nice. Spread some coals all over the lid there. Again, we want about, well, I don't know, 15, 16 on top. Mom, Dad, you give me a hand. Yeah, just a minute, I'll wait till I'm done cooking with the Dutch oven. Kids, they want a hand, but they don't understand. You know, we got to get this uh, this Dutch oven cooking right. Those hot coals. Did you ever see the Dutch oven? Come on over, and take it out, check it out. Coals on top, right there. Spread them around, and we'll let that simmer. <laughs> How you doing? You want to say hi to everyone? Look at the camera over here. Come here. It's over here. Stand right there. Tell me you're doing some Dutch oven cooking. Hi. Tell me you're doing Dutch you oven cooking. Dutch, I'm doing Dutch oven cooking. I'm doing some outdoor Dutch oven cooking with J-Bone. Okay, we're uh, winding down now. We're almost done with our stew. It's uh, been simmering for a few hours. That meat's probably nice and tender. It's uh, pretty much done. Actually, let's just take a look at it. We have ourselves a little taste. Look at that. Isn't that wonderful? All oh, those flavors. Everything's nice and tender. Oh, we gotta try that out. That smells good. Send me your thoughts on uh, future videos what do you want to see um, perhaps next time we'll do a dessert pineapple upside down cake peach cobbler we can do anything but uh, let's just try it this, is, this looks so good look at that meat there mm, delicious Jeremy for another edition camp style dutch oven cooking with j-bone take it easy